Okay, Raw Status TV, hit that thumbs up. Gonna give you my opinion and my reaction to some morning sports headlines. Uh, this is Skip and Shannon discussing the Christmas Day game, which is gonna be the Los Angeles Lakers and the Brooklyn Nets. I cannot wait for that personally. And the first game of the season is gonna be Warriors versus Lakers. That's gonna be a good one too. Let's take a listen to Skip and Shrimp, excuse me, to Shannon Sharp and Shrimp Baseless. But here's the point. In the end, I believe that the Brooklyn Nets will win this game because KD has broken through the way Jordan broke through. Because what? KD had his struggles early. He lost to LeBron when he was with the baby Thunder. And Okay, we're going to stop right there. So the reason why they pump KD, because Kawhi Leonard is on his way out and they don't have him to create as an anti-LeBron so now they're pumping up Kevin Durant. Now, Kevin Durant is next in line to hold the mantle. Kevin Durant is a great player. Sorry about the background noise. I'm in my car. Um, but Kevin Durant went out like a chump with the Brooklyn Nets, if you ask me. Okay? He had a chance to put that team on his back, but he's not capable, capable because he's not a playmaker. I believe LeBron gets that Brooklyn Nets team to the finals. Let's listen some more. Now, don't forget, this guy makes excuse after excuse for a horrible play by Kevin overrated Durant because he hates LeBron James. I don't know what happened if LeBron banged his girl who wanted to bang that ugly thing. But, you know, let's just let, let, let's listen a little bit more to the foolishness. 20, what was it? 12. 12. And once he broke through, once he figured it out, once he left Russell and went to Golden State and joined forces oh, so with all that Russell star State? power, but he became the man. Once he won. Okay, so now it's Russell Wilson's, uh, excuse me, Russell Westbrook's fault that Kevin Durant couldn't hit a damn shot in, was that, the last seven minutes or the last two minutes or something? I remember that against Golden State. It's Russell Westbrook's fault that Brooklyn, that he couldn't get past the Bucks. Back-to-back -back finals MVPs with huge games, game threes. This guy goes back years and years and years and takes games that he played on a stack team where he basically got to ride a tricycle with training wheels. And he keeps acting like that was some type of virtuoso performance. At LeBron's house. And by the way, could we just remind everybody about that shot he hit on? Oh, I knew that was coming. This guy hit a wide-open three-pointer with... A court full of other, excuse me, a court full of the best three-pointers of all time. Two of them. Best three-point shooters of all time in Clay Thompson and Steph Curry. So, of course, he's open. We, no, we don't need to remind nobody. Well, we got to do we, saw, we know what happens. Skip, why you got always bring up all stuff? It's a prelude to Christmas Day. Oh, there's Kevin for all the So, notice how when LeBron destroyed Oklahoma City, it was the baby thunder. And it was Russell Westbrook's fault. But when Kevin Durant hits an easy, wide-open jumper that LeBron didn't even bother to check him on, which LeBron should have checked him. I always wonder why he didn't step up there, but maybe he was challenging him to miss the shot, and he gambled wrong. Um, notice how he, he, he doesn't mitigate the circumstances with the Thunder, which he should. But with LeBron, he always qualifies everything because the man is kind of like when you're arguing with your girl and she's never wrong. An excuse for everything, you know. Money, right there. That was it. He won the MVP of the finals with that shot in game three. That was it. That, that was it, that game. That put Golden, Golden State ahead. For I, good. I, I got to say, about this show, too, Shannon Sharp does not bring the same heat, the same intensity that Shrimp Baseless does. He kind of sits there and giggles. Shrimp Baseless is, well, first of all, it's, it's a character that he's playing for views, but I believe that there's some truthful hate in his heart. I just knew it. I was like, he gonna you just pull. said, that's it? You knew he was going to pull up? I LeBron, you, you, you got to go. You got to well, go. LeBron, LeBron, you got to jump. And that was the thing was, I was like, I'd have guard him. So even if he even if he blows by me and lays it up, we're tied. Okay. That that's what I look. I mean, look, LeBron knows LeBron says he's, he's worried about the heavy. And mm -hmm. you could tell, I, I could just tell the way he was gathering that, okay. that he's going to pull up. So once KD broke through with that shot and that finals victory and that... He did not break through a damn thing. He was on the Golden State Warriors. That is always part of the narrative. Now, I was on another platform the other day. My first time being on another platform in months because I stopped dealing with these clowns out here. 
I stopped dealing with people that listen to this punk right here. Shrimp Baseless is in his position for a reason. Character assassination of successful black athletes unless they go along to get along. And mark my words, they're going to start hating on KD soon. On KD soon don't worry. MVP, he, he doubled it up with another one the next year. And now he has led the United States of America's Team USA to three Olympic gold. This dude is talking about the damn Olympics as if that has anything to do with the NBA. How many gold medals does LeBron have? And one FIBA World Championship in which he was. We did that. Yeah. LeBron been there that. Okay. Do you remember? Do you remember what we did in Beijing? Do I you don't. remember what we did in London? I don't. We did that. In he doesn't. Sometimes you just want to bitch smack this dude, don't you? Redeem teams. That's like us. He, seemed like he just went along for the ride. Do I do skill. not remember him dominating do those games. Don't do that, Skip. Who is the all-time leading Olympic scorer for skill. our country? Skill. Who is it? It is Kevin Bleepin but Durant, see, the best the, player on the planet. Why, that's why they lost to France. If Kevin Durant was the best player on the planet, like this jock writer baseless keeps saying, why the hell couldn't he get Brooklyn past Milwaukee? LeBron wins that series. Mm. Because you were about leading score. Mm. We didn't have no leading score. We, Carmelo came off the bench with the leading score. In the, in the original Dream Team, Barkley came off the bench with the leading score. Mm. We had guys that just do the job. Mm. It might be K, it might be a LeBron one game, might be D-Wade, might be Melo, mm. might be Bron Bron. Well, it didn't matter. was KD or Bust. And then the we start. went to London. You yeah. remember when we went to London? KD was on that squad. Yeah, he was. He led that squad. I love it. You know? Okay, <laughs> what, what, okay. that's why we lost to France. Uh, who won the gold medal? By beating France? Wait a Kevin Durant. After they had those spankers, they had uh, been talking trash. Yeah. Yeah, they had banners for French too. We couldn't get French fries, French. So this is all just Bateslist looking for something to discuss during the season. He needs somebody to go up against LeBron James. A, it gets him views, and he got a contract by hating on LeBron James. But B, skip Bateslist. If you really watch this guy, he hates black athletes with a passion. And only an intelligent mind can pick this up. So again, I told you I was on another platform the other night. And I just find it really disgusting that there's black men out here that actually repeat what this fool says. Close enough. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, Kevin put a stop hey, to that. Ke Skip, why are you always on track? Look here. Kevin Durant lives in America, plays for America. You make it seem like I wanted him to lose. I, didn't, I want us to win all the gold medals. A, a quiet little side of you. No, it wasn't. Yep. I was worried about it because I didn't want nobody to have more. So we'll stop it there, but you see what's going on, right? Honestly, this stuff isn't even worth discussing anymore. But when you have basketball fans that call themselves fans out here repeating this BS, like I said, I question their intelligence. Quite frankly, I question their blackness. I question their fortitude because we're not discussing basketball. This is emotionalism. This is hate. And this is agenda. Now, if you want to talk basketball, let's talk basketball. You want to say MJ is better than LeBron? First of all, I'll say LeBron James isn't done playing yet. But second of all, I'll say that's your opinion. And there's plenty of criteria to back up that claim. Listen, I lived through the Michael Jordan era. Okay. Um, I'm going to discuss uh, there was a, a player, Cade Cunningham, who says that uh, he believes LeBron's better than Michael Jordan. And the thing is with that is they're two different players, okay? One is a, is a small forward, one is a shooting guard. Two different body types, two completely different skill sets. But we can have that discussion at a later date. I just wanted to, to throw this out there. And, you know, again, if you're a Michael Jordan guy, that's fine. That's not, we can have a basketball discussion. But what we're not going to have is an emotional discuss, discussion based on hatred. Because it doesn't make any sense. Leave your comments in the box. This is Raw Status TV.